First run of the season. Woo! Break out the boards, dust off the skis. It's time to hit the slopes. Despite the unseasonably warm and dry weather this fall, Arapaho Basin is open for business. We're putting snow in our most core trails right now, getting more and more of the mountain ready to open. Snowmaking is critical for early season skiing, especially when Mother Nature isn't cooperating. You know, if we didn't have snowmaking this year, we wouldn't be open right now. Ski areas need three things to cover the slopes. Making snow is pretty simple. We need temperatures below freezing, we need air, and we need water. We can't make snow without water. You know, when we're operating at full capacity, we are pumping a thousand gallons a minute. A Basin gets its water from the North Fork of the Snake River, thanks to an agreement with Denver Water. In Summit County, Denver Water has most of the senior water rights in the rivers. So what we do is we share those water rights with the ski areas. In the late fall when they want to make snow, we let them pump our water out of the rivers, put the snow on the ski slopes, ski on it all winter, and then in the spring when that snow melts, they track that water coming back into Dillon Reservoir for our uses. Denver Water has similar agreements with Breckenridge, Copper Mountain, Frisco Adventure Park, Keystone, and Winter Park. Denver Water is always looking for ways to get multiple uses out of every drop of water. And this arrangement we have with Summit County, this partnership, is a great example of a win-win for everyone. Snowmaking has done so much for a basin. We know we're going to open. We know we're going to have good conditions. And we know we can help our community more when we can rely on being open. You know, Denver and Arapaho Basin have a real connection here. Who knew that this snow that is so great for skiing also makes great drinking water? <laughs>